Hi, I'm Mrs. Post. Hi, Mr. Danner, principal for Charles Barnum. We're here to welcome you back to the school year this year. We are looking forward to having you come back. There's a few things that have changed and we're going to take a tour inside the building and let you know what's up. All right, let's go. Okay. Arrival is going to be a little different this year. Instead of having you line up outside, we're going to have you go right in the building. Students in K through two are going to go right through the front door. Students in three through five will line up down below. For parents dropping off, we're gonna ask you to stay in your cars this year and use our carpool system. We will have you, based on your number, either drop off in the top lot or the bottom. We ask students that as they get here, make sure you have your mask on before you get out of the car. And if you have to get out on the, the street side of the road, please make sure that you walk around the front of your car so that we can get you safely to the sidewalk. Instead of having breakfast in the cafeteria like we usually do, we're not gonna have it in our classrooms when we arrive. There'll be tables set up in the front hallway up top and one down by the gym for you to grab your breakfast and head to class. Masks are gonna be an important part of each and every day. When you enter school, you're gonna to need to make sure you have your mask on. This is the proper way to wear it. Make sure that your nose is covered and it tucks carefully under your chin. These are gonna be required for your whole day. Teachers will give you the opportunity to have breaks when there's a great time in class to do that. Remember, these are not toys, so we need to make sure we wear them properly at all times. You will notice when you enter the building that there are new markings on the floor. This is gonna tell you where you need to go and in what direction. So what we're going to do is we're gonna actually use these colored squares right here. Because if you're not sure how far apart you should be from your friend, you're going to just stay on the square directly behind them. When you enter your classroom, this is what it's going to look like. Each student will have their own assigned seat. They will be safely distanced from others. We ask that you go directly to your seat when you arrive, and then your teacher will let you know when they'd like you to unpack. You will also notice that your desks have shields on them. This is so that you have your very own space to learn. Again, just like the masks, these are a tool that we're going to use for learning and not something to play with. If you have to go to the bathroom, do not worry. Each class is going to have scheduled bathroom breaks throughout the day. But what if you have to go when it's not a break, you're going to go to your assigned bathroom. If your classroom has a bathroom in it, that's the one you're going to use. And if not, you'll go to the one assigned in the hallway. If you notice, there's a sign right outside the door. And that's going to tell you what grade uses the bathroom and how many students are allowed in at each time. Make sure to wash your hands with soap and water when you are finished. Not sure how long to wash? Soap your hands and rub them together while singing happy birthday twice. When you're done and the soap is all rinsed off, grab a paper towel. You can not only wash your hands, but then you can use it to turn off the faucet. This year we'll be eating lunch in our classrooms. Because of this, Charles Barnum is going to be a nut-free school this year. If you have your lunch from home, when it's time, your teacher will give you the opportunity to go and get your lunch from your bag. For those of you that are getting hot lunch, Ms. Denise and her team will deliver it right to the classroom. In addition, you're gonna be playing with your classmates in your class at recess this year. Every class will have the opportunity to have their own balls and their own play equipment so that we don't have to share. At the end of the day for dismissal, it's going to be important for you and your classmates to be packed and ready to go and nice and quiet. All of our dismissal will be done through announcements from the front office. If you are a student that has a carpool number, you're going to need to know that number because when you're called, you're going to have to quietly go to your carpool location. Carpool 37 and 46 are dismissed at this time. 
carpool 37 and 46. Thanks for joining us today. Mrs. Post and Mrs. Wallace did all of the hard work. I was busy out here, as you can see. Don't forget to practice wearing your mask appropriately. Expand the time that you wear it and make sure you get some extra rest before you come back to school. We'll see you soon.